Hey, Rick Dawson here. How are you doing? I just discovered a new way to determine how much surplus funds Indiana counties are holding and how much they collected last year. It's actually all online, believe it or not. And this is going to help you pick which counties you're going to want to pursue so that you go after the ones that have the most surplus. And I'm willing to bet this technique is going to work in a lot of other states, too. Now, you may not know it, but in most states, and certainly in Indiana, counties have to file an annual report with the state every year. And with Indiana, it's called the Indiana State Board of Accounts. So let's go to their website real quick here. And Indiana in particular, they show the filed annual reports for great majority of the counties here. So I'm picking the year 2010. I'm picking counties and search and I get a big huge list of them here it's got to be most of them if not all of them and here's what's interesting I'll, I'll just go to Allen County for example and all I'm going to do I'm going to search this document for surplus and you'll see it takes me right to page 12 and you can see surplus tax sale I can see that they started out the year in 2010 with 5.7 million worth of surplus in the account they took in another 6.7 million and they ended up the year with 5.998 million in tax sale surplus funds on hand. So that's telling me that this is going to be a really great county to work. So let's go back and look at a smaller county that I'm going to assume doesn't have much surplus and let's see what their report looks like. Benton County, Indiana. Let's say I was thinking about going to that county and trying to get some surplus records. So here I've got Benton County's report. Let's find surplus here. And again, surplus tax sale. They started out the year with only 35,000 compared to 6 million. And they took in zero. And they ended up the year with only $6,000 worth of surplus on hand. That's really going to probably be a tough county to make any money. And I can probably scratch that off the list. So I can go on down that list. And I can find the counties that have the most surplus funds actually on hand at the beginning of the year and see how much they took in. So pretty neat. If you're going to work a different state, check to see if they have some kind of central um, online place where you can see the annual reports. And they'll probably be required to list how much overage funds they're holding as well.